Israelites were called Ethiopians, Indians, Phoenicians, and Syrians. The biblical Israelites can be found in the secular literature, the Greeks, and Romans under the names Ethiopians, Indians, Phoenicians, and Syrians. Amos chapter 9 verse 7 Are ye not as children of the Ethiopians unto me, O children of Israel? saith the Lord, Have not I brought up Israel out of the land of Egypt and the Philistines from Kaptor and the Syrians from Kerr? Are ye not as children of the Ethiopians unto me, O children of Israel? In the biblical records, the Israelites, in their physical appearance, are compared with the Ethiopians, who are known to have a dark complexion. Bible study tools, Amos 9 and 7, meaning and commentary, Amos 9 and 7. Are ye not as children of the Ethiopians unto me, O children of Israel, saith the Lord? Jeremiah 13 and 23. The Ethiopians are represented by Theodorus Zechilis, Jeremiah 13 and 23. Theodorus Zechilis of Sicily was an ancient Greek historian who wrote about the ancient Israelites under the name Ethiopians. Bible study tools. Footnotes, Andromedam, Perseus, Nigris, Portrait, Ab Indus. Nigris, Portrait, Ab Indus. Nigris, Portrait, Ab Indus was a Latin phrase used to describe where Perseus found Andromeda from among the black Indians. This phrase later helped Christopher Columbus locate the lost tribes of Israel, which is why he was looking for the Indies and the lost tribes at the same time. The black Indies, Indians, or Israelites, the city of Andromeda, was located in the territory of the northern tribe of Dan. Frank M. Snowden, Jr., Blacks and Antiquity. The interpretation of scholars, however, who maintain that in this, in the Georgics, a poem by Virgil and Ovid mentions of Perseus bringing Andromeda from the Black Indians. Andromedan, Perseus, Nigris, Portrait, Ab Indus, Oz, Amatora, 1 and 53, are equivalents of African Ethiopians. Nigris, Portrait, Ab Indus, is Latin for from the black Indians. Andromeda and Perseus. Andromeda, her land, Ethiopia or black Indies, 
the port city of Joppa, in the land of the northern tribes of Israel. Bible study tools, Amos 9 and 7. Footnotes, F3 speaks of Jupiter and the other gods going to Ethiopia to an anniversary feast and caused them the blameless Ethiopians. And so Lucian speaks of the gods as gone abroad, perhaps to the other side of the ocean to visit the honest Ethiopians. To the other side of the ocean, Atlantic Ocean, to visit the honest Ethiopians and Americas, northern tribes of Israel, also known as Western Ethiopians, the Indians of the Americas. The Western Ethiopians of Homer, the Indians of the Americas, the northern tribes of Israel, The Eastern Ethiopians of Homer, the Jews of Jerusalem, the Southern Kingdom of Judah. Solimai is a Greek name for Jerusalem. Moreover, Carolus description of the Solomai quoted in Josephus against Apion 1.173 accords with the account in the catalog of Xerxes' army, Herodotus 7.70, of the Eastern Ethiopians. Both Corollis Salimai and Herodotus, Eastern Ethiopians. Jew and Gentile in the ancient world. Louis H. Feldman. Moreover, Corollis' description of the Solomai, quoted in Josephus, against Apion 1.173 accords with the account in the catalog of Xerxes' army, Herodotus 7.70, of the Eastern Ethiopians. Both Corylus, Salami, and Herodotus, Eastern Ethiopians. Page 191 to 192. Tim Whit Marsh, Beyond the Second Sophistic, Adventures in Greek Post Classicism, Painting of the Jerusalem Temple, Dara Europis Synagogue, Page 236. Enter the Salimoi. I am arguing, then, that the Jews were associated early on with the territory of the Odysseys, Salomon Mountains. After the sack of Jerusalem and the destruction of the temple in 70 CE, the identification with the Iliadic Salomoi seemed to have spread with remarkable speed. We find it not only in Josephus, but also in Tacitus. In a famous passage from Book 5 of his histories, for example, Tacitus offers six accounts of the origins of the Jews, 
the fifth of which directly references their famous origins as the Salamoi, a people celebrated in Homer's poems. An average or asserts that the name Ariel Salama derives from them. Hiro Solama is Jerusalem. The history of Herodotus, a new English version. The ethnic character of the Solomon depends mainly upon the assertion of Flerilius that they spoke a Phoenician dialect. It is confirmed by their name, which connects them very remarkably with the Hebrew Shalom and Yerushalayim, Salem and Jerusalem. Page 683. They spoke Phoenician, which is Hebrew. Salamai means Salam. Or Shalom, Shalom, peace. A map of ancient Syria showing the distribution of the Shemites and their neighbors between 2000 and 500 BC. Jerusalem, Solomai, Eru, Solama. Classical Dictionary of Biography, Mythology, and Geography by William Smith. Syria The people of darker complexion in Syria proper, who are sometimes even called Black Syrians. Page 407 